Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel and in this video I am going to talk about deconstruction. This is UK PSC syllabus topics and uh, I told you about uh, the syllabus that if you are following this channel you will get all the videos from uh, UK PSC syllabus. So be with me and complete your uh, topics, daily topics with me. So deconstruction. What is deconstru deconstruction? Deconstruction is a critique of the relationship between text and meaning originated by the philosopher Jacques Derrida. Let me tell you that this is uh, deconstruction is part of modern uh, modern age and before modern age earlier people uh, did not consider a text as important part of criticism but later from Jacques Derrida the consider the relation between text and meaning. Derrida's original use of the word deconstruction was a translation of deconstruction, a concept from a book of Martin Heziger. Jo Martin Heziger the unka unki book se liya gaya tha aur uh, jo unhone jo spelling thi ya aap bol sakte hain ki pronunciation uska deconstruction hi tha. To Derrida ne usse uh, he took it from the concept of concept from the book of Martin Heziger. Martin Heziger ki book se Derrida ne se liya tha. Difference. Ab kuch topics se hain jo uh, aapko pata honi chahiye. You must know the definition and you should understand what these things are. So first is difference. Second is diachrony, synchrony, sign, signifier, signified, semiotics, binary, opposition, aporias and ellipses. So first one is difference. Uh, difference is the observation that the meaning of the word come from their synchrony with other words. So now we must understand what is synchrony. Synchrony and diachrony these both are just study. Study of language. So these terms comes from that. And if we are studying uh, in the change in the meaning of words over time. Uh, if we we'll, uh, just see. One example, uh, you will come to know about that. If you are studying a language for a long time and uh, about its meaning for a long time we are studying. Alright, so it, what was the language in 2005, then in 2007 and uh, in 2020. So we are studying language. So this relationship, diachrony, this is called diachrony. Alright. And if I am just taking the language at a point again 2020 and then I am studying language, it is called synchrony. So uh, hopefully you got it. He gave a concept of sign and he, he made the two parts of that sign that one is signified and second is signified. You can see the structure. Here you have a picture of cat. And here you have CAT. So this is text and signifier what it represents there. And uh, and what is actual cat? Let me write down here because I forgot to write down there. So it it is also called referent. The actual cat. This is picture of cat. It is signifier and CAT. This is text. So text is called signified. Signifier the picture. And the actual cat will be a referent. So you, it can be asked what is a referent, what is signifier, what is signified. Next is semiotic. So semiotics study of meaning and binary opposition. Uh, semiotics is simply study of meaning in a language. If you are studying the meaning in a language that is called semiotics. Binary oppositions, there are oppositions like day and night, man and women. So in text you will say uh, hero and heroine and uh, hero and villain. So such oppositions you will see there. Uh, so these are called binary oppositions. Aporias. Aporias is writer or speakers pretend not to know. Uh, he is writing something and he pretends that he does not know the things. Ellipsis. Omission of a word or phrase at a place. So you went to restaurant and and then there will be you know a pause or uh, just blank. So hopefully you understood all the terms related to deconstruction 
if you like the video please do comment share and uh, share your share your views in comment box as well thank you for watching see you in next video